Hello, my name is Jeremy Whiting with the Green Mountain Transit Training Department here in Burlington, Vermont. Today we're going to talk about the CDL pre-trip exam when you're going to take your test to get your Class B license. There are three parts of that test that you need to complete in order to get your CDL. The first portion is the pre-trip inspection. There is a lot of information to cover with the tester, but what we have found is if you keep it simple and have a few key words, it makes the process much easier. What they are really looking for out of you is that you know what damage can happen to a certain component of the vehicle. And they need you to verbally say that. If you can't remember the name of a certain item, like a, a brake component, uh, it's okay to say that you don't remember the name of it, but what you need to do is talk about the damage that could happen and what you are looking for. That way you do get the credit and you get the points. The CDL pre-trip inspection portion of the exam is all about building points. You need to talk about enough things and build enough points to move on to the skills test portion of the exam. In order to build those points and not miss anything, we like to go by a three-step process of see it, say it, touch it. If you can see something on the bus, say what it is, and if you can touch it, touch it to make sure that the inspector knows that that is the component you are actually talking about. There are a lot of things to cover during your pre-trip inspection on the bus, but what you are going to find is that you will be repeating a lot of the same words just with different components. If you test something to make sure that it works, make sure that you say that it is working properly. If it's glass, it can break, be cracked or chipped. Any hose you see on the vehicle has the potential to leak and a hose needs to be connected to something. So anytime you see a hose, you want to make sure that you're saying that it's properly connected and that there are no leaks, if in fact there aren't any. Anything that is attached to the vehicle needs to be secured to the vehicle and you need to say that to the examiner, that you notice something and that you see it, you say it, and you touch it to make sure that it actually is secure to the vehicle. It's all about talking about the damage that you see. So you need to find the buzzwords that you are going to use and keep those no matter what component you're talking about. Just make sure that it applies to that specific component. 